Ottawa. Tickling the ivories sounds way too mellow for what's going on in the piano business these days. This week, one of the world's most expensive instruments came to Canada, signaling an outright battle in the piano market between a newer, younger brand and a long-standing piano giant. The CBC's Chris Brown has that story from Vancouver. When Vancouver's new Shangri-La Hotel wanted a musical centerpiece for its elegant lobby, they insisted on style, sophistication, and a distinct sound. They turned to Italian piano maker Paolo Fazzioli. Uh, we are looking for a sound clear, elegant, even uh, uh, one sound rich of light, of color. Fazioli was in Vancouver this week to drop off this piano and another, even fancier one, that retails for a cool $450,000. Fazioli pianos have been around for more than 30 years, but they've only recently come to Canada's west coast. And in the very competitive and political world of pianos, that's striking a chord of discontent. <laughs> For 150 years, one piano brand has been the undisputed leader, U.S.-based Steinway. Many of the world's top artists, including Canadian Diana Krall, play a Steinway piano, and there, in the background of Barack Obama's inauguration, was a Steinway II. Some have even likened the company to Microsoft in the way it's tried to stifle its competition. They took me off their artist lists. Angela Hewitt, perhaps Canada's most renowned concert pianist, used to play a Steinway, but now uses a Fazioli. I've had instances of when I've wanted to take my own Fazioli piano at my own expense and put it on a concert hall stage and, and have been told that I can't. But for every Fazioli convert, Steinway can boast many others who are standing by their brand. At the very end, this part, Robert Silverman is an acclaimed pianist and a music professor at the University of British Columbia. That image of the sound begins in my ear or my musicality or whatever, and I have only been able to get exactly what I hear on Steinway pianos. Steinway told us anytime more people buy high performance pianos, it's a good thing. And so, in this elegant rivalry, it's a small victory for the underdog. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver. Thank you.